Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome and thank you for joining us, either joining us in person or tuning in virtually. We are so proud to be here today for this highly anticipated moment in Gannon University's history as we officially dedicate and bless the Institute for Health and Cyber Knowledge. Just over two years ago, in November of 2018, we were gathered in Old Main to announce Gannon's new venture into the cyber industry, promising new academic programs and the creation of this stunning facility we are standing in here today. Now, here we are. Academic programs are already underway and we are officially dedicating and blessing this incredible space as promised marking the culmination of phase one of this exciting project. We certainly hit some unexpected challenges as the world is faced with the COVID-19 pandemic, yet we have persevered to get us here today. We are grateful for our partners in this project who matched our determination and dedication to overcome these challenges and recognize the importance of this facility to our students and to the Erie community. We extend our sincerest gratitude to our owners, our engineers, the architects, the contractors, and construction crews from Building Systems Incorporated, the Collaborative, and Tech Inc. Engineering and Design. We could not have brought the vision for IHAC together and this lot to life without you all. Thank you. When we initially developed the strategy and plans for this facility and the educational and business spaces that would be housed within it, our Gannon University trustees were engaged in that work and fully supportive every step of the way. And Bishop Persico and Pierre McCormick are here with us today in person, and many of our trustees are participating via Zoom after a long morning of meetings today, and they have all been pivotal in our early success. This facility is designed very intentionally, intentionally to best meet the projected high demand for cyber industry and the position to position Gannon University and Erie, Pennsylvania to be leaders in this burgeoning sector. So let's flash forward two years and add a global pandemic to the mix. And the demand for highly skilled cyber professionals has grown and grown exponentially. We shared reports when we announced IHAC in 2018 that cybercrime was estimated to exceed $6 trillion annually by 2021, and that nearly nine, 29 billion devices would be connected to each other through the Internet of Things by 2022. These numbers are now reported to double by 2025 after so much of the world has shifted to digital storefronts, converted to working from home, or utilized uh, emerging technologies to adapt to life amid the pandemic. So the hands-on application and real-world education that will happen in this facility is truly needed now more than ever, more than ever before, to prepare the next generation of leaders in the cyber industry. We are eagerly looking forward to the great work we know our students and our faculty will uh, do in developing an IHAC as they work towards engineering solutions that will protect our digital lives. And so now it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Walter Iwanenko, the Provost and Vice President for Student Experience at Gannon University, the mastermind of much of this to share more about the impact of this facility and what impact we will have on our students and our community. Walter? Thank you. Good afternoon. And thank you, Dr. Taylor, and thank you all of, all of you for being here and sharing this exciting day with us. What a great day it is to celebrate the official dedication of IHAC. I'd like to first acknowledge and thank Most Reverend Bishop Lawrence Persico for joining us today. A special thank you to Pierre and Kathy McCormick and representatives from our partnering agencies, BSI, The Collaborative, and Tech Inc. Engineering and Design. We are honored to share this day with you today. 
I'd also like to welcome our special guests joining us on Zoom. Members of our Gannon Board of Trustees, alumni, community partners, representatives from our federal and state government offices, county and city elected officials. Welcome, all of you. We are proud to be here today to mark the completion of phase one of IHAC construction. This $13 million investment has quickly transformed this former Verizon call center into a cornerstone of Erie's renaissance as a regional technological center. Throughout this first phase, we've developed the eye-catching exterior of the facility, this first floor lobby that we're all standing in, and the second floor, Pierre McCormick Cyber Learning Center. The second floor space has quickly been deemed the academic heart of IHAC, as the students have already begun filling the classrooms and the labs this semester. Their excitement and anticipation to get into this facility has inspired us all as we set out to provide a transformative educational experience for these rising leaders in cybersecurity. We are honored to have Pierre and Kathy McCormick here today as we recognize their generous contribution and officially dedicate their namesake. The McCormick family has helped build Erie for decades. Their gift reflected their confidence in our university and recognized a deeper understanding of how IHAC contributes to Erie's economic ecosystem by fostering entrepreneurship, developing exceptional talent, and most importantly, keeping the talent here in Erie. Another Gannon alum and Board of Trustees member, Stacy Jugno, class of 98, and her husband, Scott Dibble, helped to establish Gannon's Cyber Innovation Fund with an initial $100,000 gift that was leveraged by an anonymous trustee donor, then matched by the university to launch a gift matching campaign to build the fund to $1 million. This fund will drive a one-of-a-kind industry academic innovation environment in downtown Erie. In addition to these generous contributions, we were also blessed by community and individual support toward the development of this facility and its resources. The Lake Erie Research Institute, by way of the Oris C. and Beatrice Dewey Herzl Memorial Foundation, awarded a more than $400,000 grant for the development of a supercomputing center. The George Alden Trust awarded the university a $110,000 grant to support the creation of the Geographic Information Systems, or GIS Center for the Education and Research. In August 2019, Gannon received a $2 million Commonwealth grant as part of the Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program. We are grateful for those funds as they will drive job growth and business development opportunities for our region in the next phases of the project. Two things Erie needs to keep moving forward. I'm truly inspired by the leadership of our community partners, our alumni, and board of trustees who stepped forward as early catalysts throughout this venture. We are truly humbled by and deeply grateful for your generosity and support. You will see some of the fruits of this generosity today as you tour the first two floors of IHAC. There's still work happening in the building as construction continues to create the hatchery on the third floor, as well as dedicated business and commercial spaces for industry partners and data storage capabilities to accommodate cyber businesses on the upper floors. We've proudly already welcomed two industry leading partners that will be present in the hatchery. Extreme Networks and our very own Erie Insurance through the support of a Gannon alumnus and Erie CEO, Mr. Timothy Nicastro. These partners will elevate the delivery of Gannon's programs, bring new professional training opportunities to Northwestern Pennsylvania, and equip IHAC with state-of-the-art technology. They will provide education, research, and industry experiences for specific workforce development and student employ employment during their academic years and even following graduation. Gannon and IHAC are uniquely positioned within downtown Erie. We are called by our mission and civic responsibility as part of Erie's economic and innovation ecosystem to create positive impact 
on this region. We are proud to now contribute the resources available through IHAC to the region's business and entrepreneurial community, further filling the gap in workforce development, job creation, cutting edge technology, and commercial real estate opportunities to recruit new businesses and new jobs into our home in Erie, Pennsylvania. I am pleased to now introduce Dr. Corinna Vernaza, our Dean of the College of Engineering and Business, to share more on the impact this facility will create for our students. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Arvanenko. As I'm standing here today, I can't help but think that it was just over a year ago in October that we were starting demolition to the interior of the building. And now look how quickly it has been transformed. I would like to first acknowledge the extraordinary faculty who brought the concept of our new cyber programs forward and helped them turn in these ideas into reality for our students. A special thank you to Dr. Fon Mack, Dr. Jun Kai Liu, Dr. Steve Fressa, and Dr. Lin Zhao. Thank you to the faculty and staff from Computer and Information Science, Electrical and Computing Engineering, and Criminal Justice for your support in developing our cyber programs and the academic spaces on the second floor of HiHack. A warm thank you to the Information Technology Services for their outfitting of the building with top-of-the-line industry standard technology. And special thank you to Mary Carol Genschmer and Andrew Lapiska. Your creativity, artistic talents, and passion have truly taken the look and feel of IHAC to the next level. From the furniture, to the fixtures, to the artwork, and the branding throughout the building, you thoughtfully consider every detail to make this place that rivals leading industry facilities. When we announced our launch in the cyber industry, we started with two undergraduate programs, cybersecurity and cyber engineering. We have expanded our academic offerings to include two stackable online graduate certificates and an online master's degree in information assurance and cybersecurity. We have also welcomed new faculty to teach in these programs, including current cyber professionals and experts who are bringing industry knowledge to the classroom and equipping our students with the skills to detect and defend against new and emerging cyber threats. We have proudly enrolled 39 students in our cyber programs this year and are expecting students in the field to grow nearly 200 by 2025. The IHAC facility was designed to advance education for not only our cyber students, but also for students in our computing and engineering programs as well. Cybersecurity is quickly becoming a component of all aspects of life. This facility provides opportunity for students across multiple majors to gain a basic knowledge and understanding of cybersecurity for applications in their fields, providing a competitive edge as they enter the job market. This semester, we're offering seven different courses to more than 80 students participating across multiple programs. Students are beginning to experience the impact of the business partnerships that IHAC has brought forward. Through our partnership with Stream Networks, we have embedded their certification training within our program curriculum. I am excited to share that we're expecting our first students to complete the STREAM certification exam later this spring. The students will graduate the program with an industry certification at no additional cost, increasing their marketability to future employers. It is inspiring as we start to witness the impact that elevating our academic excellence and this facility and the resources accompanying it are having on our students as they prepare for their future careers. I am very grateful to officially dedicate and bless this space today as we continue to foster development of educational training, technology and product design, and research that will deepen cyber innovation at Gannon and in our region. 
I am honored now to introduce the Bishop of our Erie Diocese and Chairman of Gavin University Board of Trustees, Bishop Lawrence Persico, for the blessing of IHAC. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May God, who has set us over the works of his, hand, of his hands, be with all of you. We gather here at the Institute for Health and Cyber Knowledge seeking God's blessing through the work of our hands and the help of technology, we cooperate with the Creator. By our efforts, we contribute to the advancement of society and carry out Christ's mandate to follow Him in serving one another in love. Here, faculty, students, and businesses will fuse together academic learning and technology development to support the creation of tomorrow's cutting edge tools. May the Spirit guide us so everything we do will be for God's glory and serve the building of his kingdom. With open ears and hearts, let us listen to his words in scripture. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans. I urge you, therefore, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. Your spiritual worship, do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I tell everyone among you, not to think of himself more highly than one ought to think, but to think soberly, each according to the measure of faith that God has apportioned. In the in Inventions of Human Genius, we must recognize the continuing activity of God, our Creator. With confidence in Him, let us pray. For the Church, that her son and daughters will have the fortitude to work for justice and peace for all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord. For the poor, that they will find suitness and protection through the care they receive from their neighbors. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the Gannon community, that we will work with the Holy Spirit to renew the face of the earth, not merely through technology, but through the lives dedicated to charity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here, that the desire to help those who are poor or in need may be awakened within our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, Father, you call us to share your good news of love, justice, and peace with a world in need. You have gifted us with re rich resources from scripture, tradition, faith, and reason, which have allowed people to develop new ways of listening to the voices of others, attending to their interests and concerns, connecting with diverse peoples and groups, and engaging them as a people of faith. 
we ask your blessing on the Institute for Health and Cyber Knowledge and on the many devices and technologies we use. May they never become distractions from relationship or idols in our hands, but always tools to love and serve our neighbors. In a changing world, may we always remember that your Son, Jesus Christ, is our Lord and brother who lives and reigns forever and ever. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father of compassion, you hear the cry of all who call out to you. Keep our ears attuned to others and our hearts responsive in love. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I would now like to welcome back Dr. Taylor to the podium to conclude today's dedication and blessing ceremony. Thank you, Bishop Persico. Before I do that, it seems fitting that we uh, have a few words from someone who not only read our scripture today and, and maybe has other good words for us today. So Pierre McCormick, you have been a huge fixture in the Erie community for many, many years, as has your family. And it is a privilege to not only be working on this project together, but so many things for Gannon and for Erie. And please, if you have something you might want to share, that would be great. Thanks, Dr. Taylor. What a fantastic and incredible building. It's 
just something else to be standing here in, in the middle of all this. Uh, I didn't really prepare any remarks, but I, I did make a, a couple of notes. And what I was thinking about today on this was that it's a fantastic and incredible building, and it really represents a lot of what Gannon is. And the goal of Gannon, of course, is to transform lives, which really is about change and changing people and giving them opportunities. And um, it doesn't just happen. And I have to sit, stand here and tell you that I've um, been involved with a number of different organizations, but the Gannon leadership team and the staff and the students and all the people that make things happen here is really incredible. Um, we were talking about just today at our board meeting, uh, and there have been some board members been on the board for 15, 20 years, and have never seen Gannon in the position that they are today. So I'm glad and proud to be standing here talking about this building and to recognize the Dr. Taylor and the rest of the leadership team, which really has worked so hard and has worked together, and it's evident and clear when you're on the board and you see the work that's being done. It's not often you get a chance to see that. Um, I also want to thank uh, our family foundation. My wife Kathy and I formed a foundation a few years ago, and on the foundation is my son Sean, my daughter Carla, my stepson Alan Lopez, and a good friend Matt Minna. And as we evaluate opportunities to contribute to the community, our mission and vision focuses really on a couple of things. One of our primary missions is to look at education. Where are there opportunities to help on the education front? The other initiative by which we evaluate opportunities is how can we help revitalize the city of Erie? As we all know, the city is going through changes and there are a number of strong leadership institutions that are helping to drive that change. And Gannon, in my mind, is on the forefront of that. We're moving towards almost 5,000 students that will be involved in this institution with varying backgrounds um, from all over the country, um, very diverse, with a lot of different backgrounds and experiences, and it's those kinds of things that we want to see more of for Erie. Um, I also just want to mention briefly um, a fellow board member, Stacy Jutno, who really was a catalyst in starting the financial uh, contributions to IAC. And I think without her, it, it really started some other things going. So the last thing I want to say is, um, as I've been thinking about this today, I've really been touched thinking about my dad, who. Uh, he was born in 1920 in Erie, grew up on 10th and Weschler, went to St. Peter's, which is now the Mother Teresa Academy, Cathedral Prep, and attended Gannon. And uh, I'm one of six kids, and I'm just standing here very proud, and I know he's very proud. So with that, I want to thank you all for attending this via Zoom. And I know that it won't be long before we'll be all together in this new space. And I am sure that this will be one of many new initiatives and new things that are going on in Erie. So thank you for your time today, and I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you, Kathy. <clears throat> It is a proud day, and I am proud to share this moment with all of you today, those of you that are here, those of you that are online, to celebrate this milestone for IHAC and to look forward to the continuing the momentum of this facility and our cyber initiative. Thank you again for all joining us here uh, and in this virtual world that we're living in these days. In just a moment, I will invite our speakers and Pierre and Kathy McCormick and our facility partners to join us up front uh, for a ribbon cutting that will formally end the ceremony. And because they are unable to be here with us in person today, uh, we supplied our special guests on Zoom with their very own uh, ribbon and scissors and uh, we want to make sure that they can participate in this momentous occasion as well. 
So the digital ribbon cutting will follow and Zoom participants, please get ready uh, and wait for your cue. It's not your turn yet. Um, but following the ribbon cutting, we will uh, welcome you all here for a tour uh, of the academic space on the second floor, the Pierre McCormick Cyber Learning Center. And for those watching uh, uh, online, there is a virtual tour uh, that will be shared on Gannon's website and Facebook to view the facility along with us. So now I'd invite our guests here to come forward so we can cut our ribbon here, if you would, please. Okay, everybody online, you ready? One, two, three, cut. Excellent. Incredible day. Thank you all for joining us today. If you haven't been in the building, come back. We'll take you for an individual tour and show you just how stunning it is. And around here, we've been running out of ribbon. We've been doing a lot of cutting over the last decade. Um, and we've got more floors in this building, so we will be back. But it's great to be with you here today. All of you, thank you so much for being here.